My friend Karan from Croatia sent me this adorable photo of his cat, and I'm going to do some Chinese brush paintings today. So I'm going to enlarge the cat, and the steps are kind of crooked, so I'm just going to rotate my iPad like that, so I'm not cropping any of the cat. So I have to... What I like to do when I'm doing the Chinese brush paintings is less is more, so try to capture the animal in five brush strokes or less. And I just have my water and my little, well, my little goat ball and um, watercolors. And today, the winter mutant, I'm just going to use black. Maybe it's some blue mixed in. Start with the top. I always stop, start on the top left with the ears. And then that cheek. And then comes up. Ear. Cheek. And up. Going back for some watercolor. Reload my brush. And now I'm going to come down and do the back and hunch and just try to get it all in one stroke. That's that. And then I'm going to do the little foot and then the tail, which I can't really see the tail, so I'm going to play with the tail later. Um, and then very lightly, we have the front. This is what I have so far. Kind of a little V. So I didn't pick, really pick the brush up to do that. That's all like one stroke. And then the eyes. And so that's the um, cat. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm not going to really talk. I'm just going to just do these quickly and do a whole series of these and so you can see how it goes. Chin, 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 Enjoyed the kitty cat Chinese brush painting. The main thing is just have fun with it and just keep on doing it. 